Do you guys love me? Do you guys like? You guys like me more for my. You guys like me more than for just my boobs, right? Yay! That's so awesome that you tipped me money because that means that's my life right now. I don't have a job, and you guys support me, and I love that. You just bought me ten sweet teas at McDonald's. All right, so we got a picture of a hot lady, and uh, next to that picture is a 4chan post, Big as titty. per usual. I come to you in desperate need of help. I know I'm an idiot for letting this happen, and this will most likely get turned back around on at me, and I'll be punished even more, but I don't know what else to do. Okay, so September of last year, I met this beautiful ass girl online. This is in 2017, Matt. I know, but it's just... <laughs> It's like Pavlov now. <laughs> like, I hear the bell, I drool. <laughs> we talk a lot, and I love her. Think and I love her. Think she's perfect, etc. I should tell you, I'm not attractive. I'm not funny, cool, popular. You get the idea. I have nothing to offer to keep girls interested. So when she starts telling me she's broke and is having trouble paying bills, I offer her the one thing I know will keep her interested in talking to me: money. She set me up. She's not broke. And she's not single, like she had me believe. My god, the things she's done to me! I will be killing myself for sure because of this girl, no doubt about it. This is the worst thing to ever happen to anyone in the month of <laughs> September. <laughs> Nothing tops. First off, the money that I thought was going to help pay her rent was actually being blown by her. She was handing it over to her friends and her boyfriend, money that I broke my back trying to make, money that I needed for essential basics. She was just giving it away. She was going on vacation every other week with her boyfriend, having me pay for their plane tickets, hotels, and dinner cruises. Like, you gave it away, you fucking simp. The girl that I loved, she was having me pay for a hotel to fuck her boyfriend in while they laughed at my stupidity. One time she had me get her this hotel gift card. She said it was for her to take her family on vacation because they're all broke and never got to travel and spend time together. Boo-hoo! And it'd mean the world to her if I gave her this and she'd love me, blah, blah, blah. Look, this was your first mistake, motherfucker. Never love anybody. So I get it. You're kind of forced to love your family, but, like, you chose to love this bitch. So this is, again, all on you. So I get it, and a few weeks later, she's posting pics on Twitter of her at the fucking Ritz Hotel, obviously on dates with a dude who's, of course, not pictured, just like in the pics of her on vacation. So I call the hotel, ask for her room, and they connect me, and, my fu and to my fucking amazement, the dick answers the phone, and I don't know what to say. Oh, he's the dick. Uh, sir, sir, I believe the proper terminology is the bull. Uh, so one person responds to this saying, there's no hope for you. <laughs> Very supportive, 4chan. Uh, the next person responds, where do you live, and where is she? Stop sending her money. <laughs> Uh, the only response they should be given to this guy is like, remember, when you tie the noose, it's about the knot, not actually choking yourself. You want the knot to come down and break your neck. Trying to make this short, leaving out a bunch of shit so I can wrap it up. Basically, she just admitted that she's, been, she's had a boyfriend this whole time and my money has been going to their fun together. She refuses to pay to be back. I keep writing her emails, demanding it back. And yes, I threatened her. And now I'm going to be arrested one day for cyberstalking and harassment. So this bitch literally destroyed my life, and I'm getting punished for it. She took all my money. 65k! Jesus fucking Christ! You know what, you fucking dumb bitch. Hey. hey. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of fucking something my peepaw told me when I was a little baboon napalm. Carnies and rubes. <laughs> Them's the two people in the world. You're either a carny, if you or you're a rube. That lady... If you think he's stupid now, give him a minute. Oh, this isn't, this isn't the, 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 the... I thought we were on the icing layer of the cake, but no, apparently we're still in fucking cake town. <laughs> Ruin my credit, my trust, my pride, I'm severely depressed and suicidal, and now I'll be getting arrested. There's no way I'm going back to that hellhole, so soon I will be killing myself. My you life is destroyed sure. completely, and there's nothing I can do about it. Take out some people with you. Be a big man. <laughs> build, build a killdozer. That's where you come in. Please help me somehow ruin this bitch. She's a streamer on Twitch. <laughs> no, I did not meet her on Twitch. I did not donate money on Twitch. She had me sending her money with Western Union. I don't even play video anymore. 
This has been one of her ways of riding what she uh, of hiding what she did. She claims I'm some crazy fan and shits, and everyone dismisses me as such. And case closed. Someone says, "Well, stop sending her money for fuck's sake." If you want to get your end wet and be adored by women, go to Thailand. <laughs> yeah, you don't need that much money there. Uh, someone points out she's on Twitch. Well, fuck it. This could be interesting. NYPA and all, but uh, post the link and she might be fun to raid or something. Uh, what is that? Not your personal army? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm getting the lingo. Um, it's like, look. I've seen this kind of shit happen in the message board days. Like, motherfuckers would come in. Obviously not to this fucking extent, because there were some dumb motherfuckers on the internet in the old days, but they weren't fucking $65,000 stupid for pussy. But yeah, you would see motherfuckers, like, come in on whack bag or fucking something awful, and they would be like, Oh, I got fucking duped. Can you help me? And people would be like, What's in it for us? Yeah, <laughs> swing the pot for us, man. <laughs> um, See, he's going at it the wrong way. He should be going in there. And I don't know if I should be telling this, because this is advice how to actually mobilize morons on the internet. I've done it before. You just yeah. come in and say, look at this dumb bitch. Yeah, you go in there and you upsell like them and like them as a target and be like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if you guys go after this dumb bitch? Just call Ain't her a booby streamer cringe. and all that sort of shit. Just start making fun of the fact that she takes donations and that she like, I don't know, she's she's trying to play off of her hotness. Go in, we should go in and make her feel bad, you know, shit like that. There are like, times that it's easy. Like Brett Keen was easy own. to convince yeah. people. Because Brett Keen made a lot of enemies and I was able to tap into that. And I was uh, also I'm apparently the, the first one smart enough to realize like, hey, if Brett's flagging us, why don't we just flag Brett? <laughs> Why are you know, we just not flagging Brett? Why are we we get nothing by holding the moral high ground? So the OP responds back, by the way, by saying she lives too fucking far all the way in Canada. <laughs> Killing her would be too easy. I would make her suffer for all the mind games and shit she put me through. She ruined my mind and literally drove me insane. First, questioning the truth. Now I'm paranoid as fuck, wondering when I'm when the FBI will come get me. I wish there's some well, you know about the TikTok ban and uh, hearings like last week, right? Where they had like the, the guy from TikTok in front of Congress and them asking him dumb questions. I wish one of those dumb congressmen this it was like uh uh you see here, Mr. Dragonface uh this this young poor american boy his mind was rotted by one of the whores on your chinese propaganda website how do you defend that <laughs> and you know he could just be like oh ooga booga daga bada i just see the senator being like well played <laughs> i grew up on the texas farmland or whatever so i know i know a true speaker when i see one cruel it's not even funny she did this shit to me but then once she found out once i found out the truth she expected to just block me and throw me away like garbage she doesn't give a single fuck if i'll kill myself i think she'll enjoy it the bitch spoiler alert none of the people you're fucking telling this to either <laughs> like, <come on. laughs> She's a moderately popular streamer on Twitch, and she's got them all full, too. She constantly is, lies to them for money. This is like Watto going into the fucking cantina on Tatooine after losing the fucking bet with Qui-Gon, being like, oh, they, stole, they stole the child from me. And they're just being like, like, boo-hoo, motherfucker. Like, I got shot by, like, fucking slavers last week. Like, eat shit, you fucking evil Jew fairy. She constantly lies to them for money. For the longest time, until I started exposing her, she told everyone that she was single. To make people think they have a chance, so they'd support her. She makes bullshit donation goals and pockets the money. 
She's a really good liar and looks so innocent she'd fool anyone. Why do you want to get revenge? She's an alpha female. She saw a weak person and pounced. You should have known better than, to send, than, than sending some sh some sh <laughs> Okay, apparently this is person yeah, Australian. This is, this is the fucking deer with the gimpy leg being mad that the wolves caught up with it. It's like, look man, blame nature. Fuck you. Why do you want to get revenge? She's an alpha female. She saw a weak person and pounced. You should have known better than to be sending some Sheila money because she says she loves you. You done goofed, kid. Move on and learn from this. <laughs> That's a real didgery, don't you, did? <laughs> Trying to get back at him will only end with more shit you don't want. I know you're right. It's just fucked up that she fooled me into sending her $65,000. And I'm the one being punished for it. And what she did somehow isn't illegal. I know this will only backfire on me and get more FBI to come knocking, but here you go, friend. It's for viewing purposes, only I'm not saying to do anything. She's a little five-foot-tall, innocent-looking sweetheart, or she'd have you think. Behind the scenes, she's the most vile, nasty bitch out ever. After that, we have... Now I'm just trying to get my money back. Bitch did this shit to me, then blocked me. She took over 65k and ruined me. Admits she has a boyfriend, then runs off with the money. Breaks my heart, leaves me a fucking wreck, and won't give me an explanation. You say sorry? Doesn't care if I will. Doesn't care if I will myself. I'm guessing kill myself. I just can't believe she would. She could be so cruel, and there's nothing I can do. Someone says she's a bitch, but you gifted her the money. She probably spent it all already. No way she pays back. Somebody else says in all caps, 65k. Yo, man, are you fucking seriously? That's like two, three years of fucking work. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you breaking my balls? Fuck, man! Expect this to be fake as fuck, you pussy ass! <laughs> N-word. Men! Boo. Boo. Are you booing him because he didn't say the N-word? I was saying boo N-word. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I would, only she went to the cops this time for real. They talked to me already, said they're working on a warrant to arrest me soon for stalking and harassment, which my state of California does not take lightly. I'm looking at max five years in prison, which means I'll be killing myself, no doubt about it. She ruined you and you won't even name her Twitch. Come on, man, your own advice clearly isn't sound. Let us, B, do your thinking for you. I wish it was. It went pretty fast. I can't believe it myself. I'm a fucking idiot. What can I say? She was, talking, she was talking to me as if I had a girlfriend. Me? A girlfriend? It felt amazing. Little did I know she was texting me one hand and stroking her boyfriend with the other in a hotel suite in Florida that I paid for. So fucked up, I feel so disrespected. Dude, what's wrong with you? Sending money to someone you've never met and, some, and expecting something in return. This is your own fault. Learn from it and move on. There's no point in making the situation worse for yourself. We're gonna need some proof that you were even talking to her. Post it up to us for records. That's right, OP, don't you have nudes? If it's real, you got scammed off 65k by this, with a, with a link to something, like a bunch of numbers. I don't think you can get a peanut out of her, even if you try. I know she was very good at what she did, though. She, she knew I've never had a girlfriend and don't have friends. She made me feel special, and almost like we were together. She's very skilled at what she did, and set me, and set me up perfectly to give, all, to give all I had. She lied to me. And then had me apologizing to her for her own <laughs> lies. On Twitch, she has bullshit goals all the time, and she lies to her fans and has the same support bogus causes, and she flirts with them with her boyfriend in the chat, and they're, on, they're in on it together. It's sick. Why five years in prison? What else aren't you telling us? Yeah, this is starting to look like a bad attempt to get, Twitch, to get a Twitch girl rated. Get proof or get the fuck out. The whole thread must be fake. The level of stupidity is too high to be true. Nice fairy tale, OP. And now get the fuck out of here. Dude, uh, no, sorry, that's the fucking same one. OP, we're waiting, you lazy-ass fuck. <laughs> what's wrong with all these sympathetic faggots? OP, you're a hopeless, pathetic fucking loser. There's no other option. Kill yourself. Here this is unreal. You'll, you'll, you'll say the F star, but not the N we go. Here's a receipt from Wu, getting more. For real, where are them nudes at? There's no way she's never give the slightest reward for 65k. Even prostitutes are more cheap, and it's awesome how one and nine can be this stupid. Scroll if it's down true. Quick and look what he posted. So, receipt. 
tracking number control del envio for customer service call 1-800-325-8000 para communications i don't know uh walgreens store money transfer operator id blah blah expected payout location florida transfer amount 450 dollars look at sender i don't know how to read these things sender it's blocked out what do i oh (laughs) (laughs) no it's blocked out now on the thing i'm reading it on it wasn't blocked out before got it as the as part one to this stupid bullshit is he in order to own this whore was like watching himself on apparently their child into a pool for the first time just see you walking him through that goat. I was gonna say so, this, like, okay. Parent. There are several there are several people responding saying that they are amazed that he is so stupid as to dox himself. Um This is almost better than Septs that I witnessed. You must be the most desperate beta dumb fag on B okay like this week. Um then he posts some more things. Uh here's her admitting to blowing the money. <laughs> she had you paying for her oh, doggy costumes. <laughs> Yes, I did. OMFG, is you real dumb, cunt, 65k, Jesus, that's pretty expensive for some bitch you didn't even get taught to IRL. So we'll send this shit to Keemstar. Maybe he can give it some relevance to this shit. And then another screenshot. This is her treating me like shit. None of this. Uh, and here are. Either. So here is uh, the cell phone um, screen cap. Like in Toronto, we all laughed and called you pathetic. Ha ha. Who, my friends? I buy them all stuff with the money you give me. It's great. You're just saying that because you think it's what I want to hear. What do you mean? We do laugh at you. (laughs) What do you... LOL. What? Lol, you're just saying that because you think it's what I want to hear. What what do you mean? We do laugh at you. LOL, I just thought it would hurt your feelings. And I do buy my friends lots with the money you give me. Really? Like what? And then another screen cap of a dog in a UPS outfit. New videos up on my channel, trying on costumes, link in my bio. Go comment a uh, puppy on the videos. Hashtag YouTube. Hashtag Pomeranian. I used to work for UPS until I quit because I'm too depressed to work. She bought her dog a UPS outfit like, to mock him. Uh, that and is then, a baller fucking move. And then uh, there is a to you message, a her. DM that says... Like, seriously, you're, you're, you're just a piece of shit. You're lucky I even talked to you. Do you know how many guys would do anything to talk to me? Stop being a bitch and leave me alone until I email you. I was going to tomorrow, too, so shut the fuck up. Uh, matey, you fucked up bad. I've been reading on this thread since the beginning, and this isn't something that happened to you. It's something you did to yourself. She took advantage of you, and that's not cool, but what the fuck, man? You literally gave her money. She didn't even scam you. She didn't have to. One. Go see a prostitute. <laughs> it's the easiest and most straightforward way to fuck. And in your case, fucking will help. Again, carnies and rubes. When you fuck, you're much less likely to fall in love foolishly like a child. Number two, rethink the trust you have in people. Consider having definite proof. Be ready to say no and do not try to buy people on the long term. It leads nowhere. Considering, consider seeing a psychologist or something to talk about. They'll help you understand yourself and others and feel better. Psychologists are a bit overpriced for just social advice, but hey, you should be used to it by now. <laughs> well, I mean, she said she was broke and needed help with bills. She did start demanding it eventually. I would try and take it back. I'd wise up and try my best to get rid of her, but she always won. And then another uh, image of her, I guess, saying, okay, I got it sent tomorrow morning then. I'll pick it up at one or two. It There's better work. And then, and then a tweet of this whole scenario. Um summed up i guess with like run, one retweet and one like uh and then somebody else saying you got ni- a nigerian prince matey <laughs> and no, that seems the, to be the whole thing the tweet was somebody tagging her or replying to her asking her to explain okay. why she bullies this retarded man yeah that's a wild story though isn't it hey a little bit you know, back when I was like uh, 20 or so, I was trying to make a little bit of extra cash. And so I was, I signed up for like this um, freelance site um, as a, uh, as a, as a hey, ghostwriter slash copywriter slash editor. <laughs> anyway, I remember um, 
<laughs> and uh, at the time, it wasn't even Fiverr. This was like way before that. I don't even remember how the site's called. The past fucking five years or so. Now, I did end up getting contracted by a guy to ghostwrite a story for him, and I could not, for the life of me, uh, describe this story to you in any way that makes sense. Um, because I, I think at the time, I also could not fucking comprehend what the hell he was trying to tell me. Um, most of our chats were over Skype at the time, uh, with us just kind of like trying to communicate and him trying to explain what he wanted and me trying to get a decent idea. And then I would write stuff and then I would send it to him and I'd be like, what do you think? And then he, <laughs> and then he would like have weird notes that I don't understand that go off into various different directions that I also didn't understand. Like from what I remember, the story had something to do with the fact that it, it was like the stand with the antichrist but everybody's like super old there there was a dominatrix in her 50s at some point that was supposed to be in there um i didn't get that far uh <laughs> there was some guy in israel who was gonna just like learn that the world was ending um and he was like the last line of defense because like he was the prime minister of israel or some shit like that and he was, I, 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 I guess, trying to fight back against the devil's dealings that he was doing on Earth, um, which was all done through the stock market. And there was, like, some detective who was black uh, and had an afro. And I'm, I'm trying to get all, I'm trying to piece all this into a story. And then I'm like, you know what? It might be easier if we talked, like, face to face and you actually, like, explained it to me verbally what you wanted. And so we got on call and I looked at him. And he had his camera on and he had about half his face on the camera. And I immediately was like, Oh, <laughs> he, was, he had, he was completely bald. Um, and one of, and his eyes were not looking at anything in particular. And he was just like, mm, sure, I just wanted, yeah, it, I have, I have more. If you want me to send it to you. And I'm like, uh, mm. <sighs> I was at a critical moment because I'm like, ah, this man has already sent me $200 to finish the first chapter. Uh, I am definitely diving into someone's disability check right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea. It's probably a really bad this idea for me to continue this. So <laughs> this is real. This happened. <laughs> I just, and I'm like, um... You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and finish the first chapter. Um, it seems like I can't really find your voice. I think you should probably try to find somebody else. Uh, but I will finish the first chapter for you since that is already paid for. <laughs> and then I sent him that and I was like, have a good day. <laughs> I just sent him off on his way to fucking be someone else's ethical problem. You get an email three days later. It's just a picture of him standing in the doorway to his room naked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nani, here's the thing. So, the Antichrist uses the money to make the people be evil, right? <laughs> but then the Israeli man comes mm. in and he stops Doug it. comes and he says, I am actually a communist. And they both pull with So. Me. I guess the reason I say this, the reason I say this story outside of giving you guys the opportunity to do an impression. See, I would have easily found his voice because I would have read the whole book. <laughs> <laughs> the, reason, the reason, the reason I tell this, this story. <laughs> <laughs> Just the final confrontation is like, you might be the fallen angel, you son of a bitch, but I'm the prime minister of Israel. And then he pulls out a desert eagle and just shoots Satan. And he's like, <laughs> I've done it. I've, I've redeemed my people for killing Christ. <laughs> um, so I, the reason I tell that story is because, you know, it's these, these sorts of stories are funny because it's just like literally some really, really stupid person just emptying out coffers to pay some random lady uh, a bunch of money for no real payoff. Um, 
And, you know, it's easy to be like, you're a dumb bitch, you're stupid, why did you send that much money? And it's true, but at the same point, this bitch uh, knew what she was doing. <laughs> okay, Lundy, um, are you familiar with the Left Behind series? If you listen, that, that's part of my inspiration. The other part is Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know we, what I'm saying is, Crayola what I'm saying Crayola. is, what I'm saying is, you know when you're taking advantage of someone, and it's up to you, you know to stop doing that. That is true. <laughs> that's all I'm yeah. saying. No, it's up to them. But Stand in response up. to that. I have four letters for you. Unless your legs are retarded, because then you can't stand. <laughs> what are those four letters, Goat? S I K E. Okay, Undy, check your DMs. We have another side to this story. I'm sorry, I'm still just thinking of the retarded man writing biblical antichrist fiction. <laughs> <and> just, <laughs> you're, talking about, you're talking about the retarded. About, hold on. So, okay, I guess quick, I guess when this got up, tweeted, before we she go decided forward. to explain. George R. Ward, R. Ward, Martin. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <that's weird. laughs> I would, I'm just thinking of like just, just again, the Israeli Prime Minister confronts Satan and him just being like, Get off my planet, you son of a bitch. And then he gives Satan a missile drop kick. The lady on Twitter responds to this whole situation by saying, I even had the police do a welfare check on him to make sure he wasn't harming himself. You all can believe me what you want. Harassment isn't cool in any form, and I'm kind of done with this. It's funny he doesn't mention that the warrants out for that there are warrants out for his arrest, and he keeps donating every day five times a day. And I keep, and that's cut off. All right, seriously, on, I'm done. I read back your emails, and holy fuck, it's you like I never read them read the first the time. Thing first. This is the top thing. I I, I even had to do with, had the police no. do a welfare check. What's the header to the? What email? am I looking at? Oh, on the email. Uh, blank owns my soul. I don't know. Must be all the meth I smoke. <laughs> that before and after Same pick wasn't before and after. Idea of Finn Dom. A.K.A. Hey, pig. Undy, continue. Mmm. True. Now, before and after pick wasn't before and after you. It was before and after a year of meth, LOL. I'm trying to get sober. Just got all this extra money and no one to give it to. You helped keep my keep, keep me sober for a little while, but you were but you just weren't demanding enough. I always had some extra money to cop with. Not your fault. Anyways, thanks for everything. I'm not actually sorry. I mean, I am, but I'm dead inside. Shit robs your soul. Uh, I actually feel nothing. I know I'm sorry, though, and I know I regret everything I did to you. And I wish I could take it all back and be your slave forever, because you're the best goddess anyone could ever ask for. Looking back at the emails, you have me exactly what I wanted, and uh, you gave me exactly what I wanted, is what you meant to say. And I just couldn't stop talking, desperately wanting you to make me broke so I couldn't buy more dope. It's a selfish thing, addiction is. Please don't take anything personal. You are a perfect queen, and I wish I could give you everything right now. Damn me. Mm. I'll hit you up in six months if I'm still alive. Uh, if you talk to me, sweet. If not, I understand. Uh, I'm not actually mad at you. I can't even remember what happened, really. If you ever need anything, please ask. I swear I won't fuck it up. Later, goddess. Okay. I should have picked up on this with the screenshot from the fucking... Um, mm -hmm. phone conversation. The LOL. That's why you pointed it out to me. He was enjoying hearing that she was talking to her friends about how pathetic he is. That's why. Uh, okay. Next next My brain is working now. That they're all different lengths. For the uh, blocked out. They're all Rashomon the situation here. And they're all different lengths. And there are, and four out of the five Those are, are, are funded. him using di different different yeah. usernames. Interesting. And he's left notes next to. Two, Thank you. The so there's a one hundred dollar donation and a fifty dollar donation. Both of these have been refunded. Then a two dollar donation from a different name saying, "Thank you for not refunding me no more, goddess. I'm so sorry for all this mess. 
If I need to go to jail for you, I will. I'll do anything. I'll shut the fuck up now for sure and just serve you like I should be. I'm going back to therapy too. I will be a better slave. Then a $100 donation, also refunded, that says, Thank you for screwing me over yet again, goddess. Well played. I hope you're planning on suing me for hundreds of thousands too and pressing charges to the full extent. Thank you, uh, oh, it, thank you, it hurts so much, but I'll try my best to be good and take it for you. Thanks. Then a hundred more dollars refunded. Since you want to punish me so badly and send me to jail, I can tell you something that they would keep me locked up forever for. That's what you want, right? I'll tell you that, I'll tell you then if you want. And another $100 refunded donation. Really hope you're not refunding me. I swear I'll never speak a word to you ever again. Just like you want. And it'll be perfect for you, goddess. Just like you deserve. All my money belongs to you. You should have never felt obligated to do anything in return ever. Then another $2 refunded donation. Another name. Please allow me to keep sending it. I'll, I'll shut the fuck up. I'll never bother you again. It's a win-win for you and a big fat loss for me. The stupid fucking pathetic loser. $5 donation, $2 donation, $90 donation, $10 donation, then throw it out like trash. $5 donation. Can't wait to die for you, goddess. Boy, it's you really, really showed me who's boss. It's really weird to see where ne- and donations end up going in the end. Right? <laughs> I should have never messed with you and just gave you all my money and just kept my mouth I shut. I'm so sorry. Money. And then a $150 donation. Sorry I couldn't handle the pain like a good bitch. Hope you feel better when I'm good, gone for good. I'm so sorry you will suffer for e- and, and will suffer forever as a punishment. Okay! interesting so that's that's a much fuller story i couldn't find an update i couldn't find and it does make sense test, uh where it left off as of five years ago. here's 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 two things that i should have caught on to before that n- this now makes sense of number one the dude was asking really hard for 4chan to essentially like try and ruin her but wouldn't tell them who she is or link her Twitch or anything, which is a weird thing for someone to try and do if they're trying to get somebody like ruined. Um, like if you know that they're a Twitch streamer, it's the easiest thing in the world to just be like, here's a Twitch. I, I, I don't know. Um, you're, you're, you can't be blocked from linking someone's Twitch. You can do that regardless. (laughs) Um, and of course, the uh, the text conversation with the LOL. You're just telling me what I want to hear with her saying that she's laughing with her friends about how pathetic he is. So both of those things in context with this now make a you shit ton more what sense. This means what the entire purpose of that thread was, was to, to experience bust the, the humiliation nut possible. Yep, he wanted 4chan to what just call him call an idiot bitch so hard he doxed himself. A beta. Hey, you made us play into that game. Yeah, this you ain't gonna see it. Fuck. Yeah, you did. Oh, well, he five years already? ago, he was being Is investigated by the FBI for something. I'm assuming he's probably not on the internet currently. <laughs> okay. There was no further update with this, so I'm assuming he probably went to jail. I don't have anything else for this subject. Well, thank you all for joining us in uh, this pay piggy porn that we have participated in. <laughs> you can blame Goat. And if you decided, and if, if you decided at any one point to pause the video and say, man, this guy's such a fucking moron. What a pathetic piece of shit. Guess what? You participated in it as well. think that this guy's a fucking loser for donating money, make sure to look forward to the Goat Pen Podcast Patreon page coming soon. Exactly. I'm a big, big baby. Obsessed with Stacy. There's nothing else that I can't do. I like all the attention I get from